Let's go in and let's try and find the uh, the administrative office or whatever. What's this over here though? Whoa! Probably should have my other gun out actually. Oh, that's the glute gun. What is this? I don't know, but it goes up into an observatory area or what is that? Spacer's choice, spacer's choice. Well, spacer's choice all over the place, obviously, right? This has got to be the admin. Well, it's over right on. It's all the way down there, though. What is this? Okay, so I guess this is another thing like we had in OCI where that's going to be where we're going to exit out of, I assume. Oh, wait, hold on. We have a reception desk right here. I guess we'll see what's over here real quick. Use terminal. Uh, Castillo N. Let's see. HIA visitation protocols. I guess we'll see. Oh, God. There's a bunch of stuff here. What? If it's Dr. Ambrose, don't get in her way, but log her every move. If it's Clarence Mosley, keep him at reception. I'll come down in person to see this law-given miracle for myself. If Jasper Law or anyone else from Chem shows up, let them stew at reception. I'll assist Mr. or I'll assist Morley down eventually. Very Aunt Blakesley. Hmm. So this is what to do whenever uh, a guest arrives. This is for the reception desk. Is there a... Uh, from Marianne Blakesley, subject HIA visitation protocols update. Okay, I guess we could read the update then. <laughs> at least, at least we're not reading that long thing and then having it like outdated by reading this later, right? <laughs> HIA is on lockdown until further notice. Do not let anyone into the facility until the escaped volunteers are located. Ooh, seems like some of the volunteers have escaped. Oh, obviously, right? So yeah, it, I'm like they are marauders now, right? They were basically making marauders here, so yeah, they heckin' escaped, <laughs> and now they're on lockdown. I guess, uh, let's see. I'm going to check the volunteer induction for any sign of our fugitives. If you receive any keycard access notifications in the next 20 minutes, ignore them. Dr. Marianne Blakesley, blah, 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 blah. Okay, interesting. And I guess if you guys want to read the, uh, visitation protocols, then hey, there you go. Because golly, that's a lot of stuff, and I don't want to read even more stuff immediately. But hey, we read the, uh, this last bit down here, which seemed pretty interesting. But if you guys want to read this, then hey, there you go. Anyways, that's the reception desk there. We do need to head downwards. To go to the admin terminal, it seems to uh, overall or override the lockdown. So let's let's speak it down. Let's go down here. Is this on level? Where are we to go? I think so. I see elevator. Dead on mechanicals over here. Energy cells, powers, powers, armor parts. Yeah, they keep giving us energy. Oh, supervisor, that's it right there. Test design office. Ooh, sealed. It's not even sealed. It's just I can't even interact with the door in general. <laughs> so I guess we can't go through that door even if it was. Uh, like sealed on the other side or whatever. Use the terminal though. Uh, B Morley. Okay, so this is Morley, the guy that uh, was just referenced at the reception. So this must be like the secretary for the supervisor. So let's see what the messages here are. Oh God, there's a bunch of stuff. Deleted messages. Okay. Well, this one I'll, I'll read the deleted message. Oh, well, there's two. Eh, two of them right there. Not too bad, I suppose. Displaying deleted messages. Read me. Read me at once. Which one? Do I? I guess we'll read the first one first. I guess we'll read this one first. Okay. From Marianne Blakesley to B. Morley, I assume the secretary of Marianne Blakesley. Morley, if you receive any communications from Dr. Ambrose, ignore them. Also, notify me at once. And don't pee yourself worrying. It won't come up on your assessments. Dr. Marianne Blakesley. Hack, uh, delete messages again? Okay, I guess I have to hack it again, basically, to, uh, to go back here. Okay, whatever. From Marianne Blakesley to B. Morley, read at once. Morley, no word from OCI. We'll keep going as we are. Say something to the staff. Break out that list of prepared statements I gave you. I suggest number four. Remember the smile. I'm heading down to oversee today's testing personally. Make sure I'm not disturbed. Dr. Marianne Blakesley. Ooh. All right, well, I guess if you guys want to read the billions of other messages here, then hey, there you go. How do I... Wait, what? Is this it? Wait, hold on. Oh, this is like another reply. Morley, how do I delete this message? <laughs> From uh, Marianne Blakesley to Morley, she wants to delete this message, I guess? This seems interesting. I guess I could read this then. From Marianne Blakesley to C. Mosley. Ooh, Clarence Mosley, the guy with one eye. Clarence, the latest results are in. As you hoped, you'll find that the violent cases now account for a smaller overall percentage of the testing pool. I expect that will change in about two or three weeks, so you'd better get that report out to Goodfellow in a hurry. Yeah, Goodfellow was the like the admin of OCI, as we remember, right? In the meantime, dosing all of the test subjects means that HIA is now in the business of generating aggressive psychotics. So if you could take two minutes out of your fundamentally pointless existence to somehow make it clear to Goodfellow that I need an update on those resources I requested, as well as the matter of additional security, increased oversight at chem, or any kind of explanation for what the heck? <laughs> oh, she's like freaking out. I guess, uh, I don't know where this is in the timeline, if, if this is before or after the uh, escaped test subjects or whatever. 
Either way, let's go to the root. And in, I guess if you guys want to read these, and hey, here you go. Concerns, con condolence letters. There you go, if you guys want to read that. From A. Ruan to B. Morley. Eh, I don't even... Testing associate? Yeah, I don't know if that's too important. But you guys can read it on your own time if you're interested. And eh, same thing there. Oh, well, this is from Marianne Blakesley. I guess I'd read this one. From Marianne Blakesley to B. Morley. Morley, pick out two of the deceased test subjects and whip up condolence letters. Something saccharine and noble. Feel free to invent necks of kin if there are none on record. Use cheap paper. Leave the letters on my desk. I'll dispose of them shortly. Golly, that's savage. Sheesh. And outgoing messages? I guess there's any two Marianne Blakesley. We can read these uh, to all personnel. This is a notice to inform all of HIA staff that testing associate Angus Ruain is no longer a Spacer's Choice Pharmaceuticals employee effective immediately. As valued members of the Spacer's Choice family, I trust that you will all pull together to shoulder Mr. Ruane's responsibilities in his place. Benjamin Morley, Assistant Auditor. Yeah. I guess he's the assistant, not necessarily the secretary, huh? To Marianne Blakesley, subject incident report. Ooh, so this is an incident report. Let's see what this is about. This might be the uh, escape test subject thing. Dr. Blakesley. The missing test subject has been found and apprehended. Ooh. Apparently, he got into the testing department where he remained. I'm afraid nobody noticed for several hours. Hennessy had him doing paperwork. I think it's clear at this point that subject SC-44B-12 didn't get out on his own. As far as we can tell, he didn't have much of an escape plan. The door was simply unlocked for a short period of time during the night. In the meantime, I made it clear to the security forces that no further breaches will be tolerated. Benjamin Morley, ooh. Kind of want to go back to incoming messages from this one? Yeah, A. Ruane. This guy apparently got fired. I wonder what for. Let's see what this is about. I guess we'll read this too. Sheesh. I'm like, this is the last thing on this terminal, so I guess we'll do it real quick. <laughs> response, response, concerns. This isn't about a few volunteers, Morley. Most of test group SC-22A is already gone. Subject 17 is nonverbal, but we've had some luck using small amounts of the compound to coax him into the testing rooms. To be honest, some of the staff are starting to worry me too. It's not just that ghoul at disposal either. Yeah, like, they're, they definitely have a ghoul working over there where they're cubing people up, right? Sheesh. No human can work there. Weaver is convinced that the compound's getting into the ventilation system somehow. I've caught her scrubbing her hands raw at the washing stations. I've tried reciting our safety protocols to her, but it hasn't seemed to help. I'm starting to think she might not be wrong. Ooh. Angus Ruane, testing associate, and this guy, of course, got fired shortly after, I assume, huh? Might be, uh... There you go, exit that. But yeah, it sounds like... Were they putting, uh... What, what is it called again? Adrena time through the ventilation systems to... Where was this? Yeah, this one. Were they putting it through the ventilation systems to turn everyone into aggressive, like, marauder-type creatures? Or whatever, because it says right here, in the meantime, dosing all the test subjects means that HIA is now in the business of generating aggressive psychotics. So... I don't know if she's memeing there, or if she's like, yeah, that we're actually I can do on this, Ada. Well, that seems extremely crazy. Anyway, speaking of crazy, let's go into that crazy woman's office. Here we go. Oh! Did you enjoy the show? I did. You should have left Gorgon in its grave, where it belongs. Now I'm afraid I have to find a more permanent way to put you down. I don't know how much more of this I can take, Captain. I'm about to chew my own hands off with nerves. What do you have to say, Sam? Nothing? Can't chew off your hands because they're made of metal. I guess you could use that corrosive acid on it or something, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, that spooky voice is following us everywhere. I don't know. Oh, wait, hold on. We have another uh, thing right here. I forgot what it's called, but it has like a recording on it. Hey, there you are. Is this... It's off, right? I don't understand these contraptions. Dr. Blakesley, ma'am, I have come to say that it's time. I'm gonna do it. Do what? I'm gonna try for one of the shuttles. You little shit. You've lost your mind. If I can just make it to the landing pad, I'll be free. Be reasonable, Morley. The project is almost over. We'll be out of here by October. Ma'am, it, it's January. You're recording, by the way. Damn it! <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> All right, well, she's got her terminal there. I, oh, whoops. Ambidextrin in there. Thinking cap lit. Stoji Slims. Stoji Slims in there, too. Yep, boom. And, uh, oh, what was that down there? Light Pistol Mark Three. I think we already have a few of those. Might have sold them, too, so. I like we really need that trash, anyways. And she has some Adrian time on her heckin' desk right there. And regular Adrenos, too. What's the side of her safe? Shock and all. 
high volts, low amps, or is that low volts, high amps? A nightmare for your enemies either way, especially if they're electricians. Ooh, bracelet here. I think we could use a bracelet for something. I forgot what it was. It's been a while, though. Hmm. Either way, another revolver Mark III this time. Oh, the other one was like a light pistol or whatever, but there you go. I'll take all that. It's not like we need to pick the thing anyways, right? And then, uh, some ammo over here. Nice. She just leaves it over here for us. That's, that's so convenient of her. Anything else over here we can loot? Oh, what is this? Folder? Ooh. Spacer's Choice Funeral Expenses Receipt. Dear Sir and or Madam, this notice is to acknowledge payment in full for all funeral expenses pertaining to Henry Blakesley. Ooh. Is this like her husband or something? Sounds like it. Includes you will find an invoice for receipt handling and delivery fees, as well as a witness statement as to the exemplary loveliness of the eulogy. Spacer's Choice offers its condolences, as well as its congratulations for your unflagging work ethic. Nice. They definitely need to heck and talk about her work ethic while, you know, delivering a heck and oh, your husband is dead meme, right? <laughs> Whatever that's supposed to mean. Anyways, let's go to the terminal now and let's just uh, send out the oh admin functions. That's got to be it, right? Override synthesis and manufactory center lockdown. That's it right there. Boom. Don't even need to hack it for some reason. There you go. Nice. I guess because we have a key card or whatever. I guess it just kind of assumes that we don't need to uh, verify or hack or authenticate or anything like that, right? So either way, we have this down. We have OCI down. We just need to go over the chem lab and send the signal from there as well. And I guess we'll have this lockdown lifted so that'll be good and then we can finally get this journal and get the full picture view of what happened here on gorgon so that's going to be fun uh but for right now accessing sending success synthesis and manufactory center lockdown override sent all right and synthesis and manufactory center status it says it didn't it doesn't say anything about oci but it says uh alternate executive lockdown must be overridden at chem lab so yeah we do still need to go to chem lab to go do the same thing over there that we did here and over at oci to uh Oh, we need to go talk to that one guy that's on that big gas giant first, though. Jasper Lowe, I think his name was. So we need to go talk to him, get access to Chem Lab and all that kind of jazz, and then we'll uh, do basically what we did here. And figure out what we were th what they were doing over there, because that's where they're, I guess, doing the actual research or like the, the development of Adrena Time. Because over here, this is where they're testing it out. And over at OCI, that's where they're marketing it, right? So we're going to finally get down to the to the the source, I guess you'd call it over at chem lab, so that's going to be pretty interesting. Return to admin functions, let's see what else we can do here. Nothing, I guess, okay. Turn to root, messages. Hack one, okay, I guess we'll just read the deleted messages again, and I guess you guys can... Well, then you get this from, uh, the admin, though, so maybe I will read her all of her messages? I don't know. Just depends on how heckin' long they are and how many there are, right? God, there's three of them right here for deleted messages. All right, well, uh, well, she did respond to that condolences email that we just read, so I guess we'll see what this condolences response is. Wait, what? All oh, this is from Ollie Ambrose. Oh, she sent one to Ollie Ambrose. Ooh, I thought this was from, or uh, responding to Benjamin Morley or whatever about condolences letters. Either way, from Ollie Ambrose to Marianne Blakesley, subject, response, condolences, etc. Marion, cancel all the letters. If they've been hand delivered, send someone to retrieve them. Secrecy trumps sentiment. Don't ever let me do anything so indulgent again, Ollie. What's this next one here? From Ollie Ambrose, subject, test subject status. Marianne, I see now why you held back your reports. Strangulation, attempted disemboweling, blunt force trauma to the head with a bedpan. It's not just that volunteer deaths are up, but that the ways in which they are dying are appalling. This is unconscionable. An unmitigated disaster. Cease administration of the compound immediately. I'll take this to our liaison, Lucian. Surely when I show him the results, he'll understand that we can't take this product to market as it currently stands. Ooh. To Benjamin Morley, subject delete this. Pfft. Is this the one that we, uh, yeah, this is the one we read earlier. Okay, so this is just from her terminal, so we could read, uh, we already read that. Now we can return to messages, incoming messages, archived messages. From L. Bancroft, subject resignation. Lucian. Ooh, this is Lucian. We just, uh, heard his name just a moment ago. From Marianne Late. Ooh, this is from Marianne Blakesley to Lucian Balk Bancroft, subject resignation. Lucian, I'm leaving this message to inform you of my resignation from the position of testing supervisor at Spaces Choice Pharmaceuticals, effective immediately. I won't be returning to headquarters, and I wouldn't bother chasing that tracking signal unless you want to give the boys and girls and human resources some exercise. I warn you once, do not try and find me. Ooh, well, I already did. <laughs> That's how we're here, right? <laughs> but yeah, this is when she resigned from, uh, like, admin of testing or whatever here at HIA. Let's see what uh, incoming messages are. Oh, these are from Ambrose, so we could read these. These are oh, this is this condolence uh thing from Ollie Ambrose. 
I should have read this before the deleted message. Whoops, this would have put more on perspective, I suppose. I keep doing this. I keep reading things back in backwards. <laughs> Either way, from Ollie Ambrose to Marianne Blakesley. Subject, condolences, etc. Marianne, personalize and forward the following note to families of the deceased volunteers. Take carbon copies and send those on to Lucian at the usual address. Make certain he gets every single one. Ollie. Dear name, it is with regret that I write to inform you of the death of your relation name. They died peacefully, attended by their fellows. Yeah, peacefully with a heckin' bedpan and strangulation and disembowelment and stuff. <laughs> Jeez. Please accept our sympathies at this difficult time, though it may offer you little comfort. Know that your relation died in service of a better, more productive halcyon. Oh god, this is this is back to that cult-like mentality, you guys. Sheesh. In accordance with the agreement name signed with Tartarus Corrections, a division of United Defense Logistics, their term of incarceration is now considered complete. Alright, well, now that they're dead, they're no longer, uh, incarcerated. So, <laughs> I'm like, that makes sense, right? They're heckin' dead? They better be, right? Sheesh. Sincerely, Dr. Olivia Ambrose, Project Director, Spaces Choice Pharmaceutical Research and Development. Yeah, every time we see Ollie Ambrose, uh, I keep thinking it's like Mini Ambrose's dad, but no, it's Olivia Ambrose, the mother, but like, that's like a nickname or whatever. I keep getting confused by that. Another one from Olivia Ambrose, subject frequency of testing updates. Marianne, it's been three weeks. Where the heck are the reports from HIA? Deliver them to me by the end of the day, or deliver your letter of resignation. Ooh, I wonder when this was sent. It doesn't say a date. In the future, you will send me bi-weekly reports of HIA's status. These reports will include an inventory of test subjects, which version of the Gorgon compound they have been administered, and how frequently those administrations have occurred, and who has been administering them. To these reports, you will append a mortality record. This record will include the accounting of the burndown rate of our current stock of volunteers and compound ampules, in addition to a thorough analysis of their injuries. I want to see charts, Mary. Big hecking charts with lots of precious little numbers. And before you ask, bi-weekly means twice a week. Don't pretend you don't know what I mean. Really? I thought that was semi-weekly. I thought bi-weekly was, you know, every two weeks, bi, you know, two, weekly, you know, <laughs> weeks. But well, whatever. I don't know if she's memeing there or what. Or if she's actually confused. Because that's, that's something that people actually get confused by. I don't know. Maybe I'm spreading the fake news. Maybe I'm secretly a CNN employee. Anyways, let's go back to income. Oh yeah, we already read all incoming. What about outgoing? Four? Man, so many here, but this is to, uh, Lawrence Goodfellow? I think that's what the L stand stood for. It's been pff, weeks since we heckin' did the, uh, the stuff at, S what was it called again? I, I almost called it CIA, <laughs> but, uh, OCI, that's what it's called, sheesh. Subject, uh, latest results, testing reports, testing group SC882, condolence letters. What was this one again? Okay, yeah, we already read this one because we read the, uh, the, this one in incoming box of, uh, Benjamin Morley's uh, thing, so we could just skip that one, so that's good. What about uh, latest results? We probably read this one too, right? Testing labs, I feel like we did. At the behest of the Office of Creative Incubation, we are applying varying amounts of unknown solutions to test subjects that are already mid-treatment. What organizational schema do you imagine would miraculously restore scientific rigor to this process? Stick to the current system, Dr. Marianne Blakesley. Hmm. Let's, let's, let's read the one to Lawrence Goodfellow, though. Response to the latest results. Many of the- hold on, can I read the original one? No, it's not attached to this, unfortunately. Man, I bet it's on his terminal and I just heckin' skipped the original one. <laughs> Either way, good fellow, yes. Many of the subjects still exhibited increased energy levels and compliance. The same euphoric response, but they inevitably crash. Testing clearly suggests that Chem's Compound X has extreme irreversible effects when administered repeatedly over a long period of time. Several volunteers in the old SCO2 group are barely verbal. When they do speak, it's to beg for more of the compound. I'm finding it hard to shine that up for you, Lawrence. So good that you'll beg for more? <laughs> Man! She's doing his job for him because he's the marketing guy, right? Golly, don't you dare use that. Oh, man. I'm like, they could. It's true. It's not false advertising. It's so good you'll beg for more. Golly. If we could dilute the compound or even ease out the schedule, we could mitigate some of the addictive effects. Weaning some of the earlier test subjects off the compound might buy us time until Chem refines the formula. I need time, Lawrence. Ooh. Well, time ran out, apparently, because uh, they, they already escaped. They're on the loose. They've already explored around Halcyon somehow, which is crazy. Probably latched onto, like, spaceships and stuff like that, and hacking cargo bays, and somehow made their way all around the heckin' solar system, which is crazy. Let's see, we have one more here, testing, uh, res reports. Oh, this is to Benjamin Morley again. I think we might have read this already, did we? Uh, I don't think we did. 
Morley, I need you to compile some of the test results from the past month. Pull a subset from the reports we forwarded to OCI, if you like, so long as there are charts. Make sure the worst of the mortality reports are up front, will you? Sheesh. Dr. Marianne Blakesley. All right, well, we read everything here, I think, right? I believe so. I think we actually genuinely- Oh! I knew this place wasn't going to be some pleasant seaside stroll, Captain, but I... I don't know how I can live with what we've seen here. What they did here was inexcusable. That's Halcyon for you. What did you expect? They must have had a reason for this. I'll just be glad to get out of here. Yeah, you know what? I'm doing number one. What they did here was inexcusable. All this cruelty done to regular working folks without even a shred of regret. And what's dogging me is... Why? They knew, Captain. Spacer's Choice knew all along what Adrena Time did, and they sold it anyway. Uh, there's not a, an option to say money or anything like that, unfortunately. I know, I can't believe they did this. Somehow this doesn't surprise me. Perhaps it was a mistake. Nope, not doing that one, obviously, right? Like, what we read, there's no way. It's like, oh man, it's a mistake, so we're just gonna keep admitting, hide the results, all that kind of stuff. Try and market it a, 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 an appealing way. They're begging, they're literally addictive to the point they're begging, so here, here's a fun little tagline for you. It was so good, it'll make you beg for more or whatever. I'm going to do either number one or number two. I, I think I'm going to do number two, because honestly, it doesn't surprise me. Someone's got to do something about this. Got to hold folks to account. Maybe it should be us. Maybe Miss Ambrose can help fix things once she's cleared her family name. She could hold the board's feet to the fire. Make them pay. Yeah, we could definitely do that after we uh, get that journal. Yeah, let's get back to finding the journal exactly. She'd be better, better be paying a lot. Let's go. It's only one way to find out where this leads. Come on. Yeah, let's get back to finding that journal, Parvati. Yeah, I guess Parvati was a great one to bring here during this, uh... And then, yeah, that was the thing. Is there anything else you might have missed? The secret thing behind that? Yeah, how do we get to that one room that's apparently barred on the other side? Can I even go to there? I don't think so. Test design office. Can't go there. And now we just leave... Oh, wait, no, I guess, I guess we can go now, huh? Oh, I think, uh... Oh, what is this, though? 98 out of 150. Man, how do we go in there, though? Is there a key or something? There must be a key card or something like that around here that I could, uh... Well, this guy, no. I'm looking around, I'm not seeing anything. I've got a pretty good lutometer with, you know, good range. I should be able to see for quite a distance. It's not on this guy's desk. I'm not seeing anything right now. It's definitely not on her desk. I think we already picked everything up. Oh, wait, hold on. What's this? I didn't even see this. What? Broken data pad. Our first test... Ooh, this seems pretty interesting here, you guys. Our first test group should be here in just a few hours. I suppose I should be catching up on sleep, but it's far more important to mark the occasion. I really think we can achieve something here. Every citizen of Halcyon wants to be of use, deep down. If this compound can restore industry and work ethic, even to outlaws and miscreants, we won't need places like Tartars anymore. Dissidents will be a thing of the past. Kem has sent over its first shipment of the mystery drug, and testing chambers are operational. Once we've proven out our methods, it will be that much more easier to convince OCI to invest in better equipment. Ooh. So I guess the main motivation here is that they want better equipment. So they're just fudging the reports, I guess, with OCI to make them look better so they get better equipment, perhaps? I didn't see that data pad until just now, and I don't think there's a key card here, and I can't open up the drawers, unfortunately, so... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to get into that one room. It's not like we just there's no door into here into into that room. So Pfft. I forgot who gives us lockpicking. Might be Ellie. Might be someone else as well. I, oh, I think one of them might be uh, Vigor Max. You know, come back with him. But uh, yeah, I think we can go through this door now. What they did here? I ain't ever gonna shake this. Yeah, I know. She's been she's been acting like that the whole time we're here, which is why I was like, yeah, she's a great person to bring during this uh, transition to H I E facility rear exterior. Let's go. Ba boom. All right, yeah, this is crazy. Like I thought, I thought OCI was kind of crazy with how memey it was, but this is just getting dark, and I could only. Oh, oh, whoa! This is the exterior. We're still indoors, though. We're you know we're in a cave or something now, huh? So I guess uh, weapon parts. What is this place? Are we actually outside? Oh yeah, we are. HIE facility rear exterior. I guess we are uh, technically. Oh, and this is. Oh, here we go. Okay, so what it is the cave entrance? Is that the? Uh, I'll see what that is here in just a bit, but I don't remember an entrance going like over here. It's like a whole area over here. Probably, but yeah, a bunch of ammo that we're probably never going to use. Pfft. 
<laughs> I've got actual thousands of ammo now. Spectrum vodka, yeah, that's something you want to have right at your machine right there. <laughs> it's crazy. This is like either half caved in or they didn't bother putting up a wall on this side because, you know, there's heckin' rocks there. Hmm. What's going on over here, though? Dark as heck. I can't even see. These lights are bright, though. Yeah, same thing happened here. What about over here? Oh, whoops. What is this? Bit cartridges. Hey, $22 right there. Don't mind if I do. Looks like someone had a real fondness for sticky notes. What were they doing all the way back here? Ooh, we found like a birdie research something. Exhilarating Adventures of the Ar Archibald Excelsior, issue number three. A comic from the adult, er, from the cult classic Ace Exterminator series tragically canceled after its brief four issue run. Scribbled in felt tip on the comic's spine is the word and. After pacifying the candid threat, rejuvenated hero Archibald Excelsior is deployed to the subterranean metropolis of Hephaestus to quell the rise of the super villainous a cappella band, the Sprat Pack, when a new foe arrives to stop him. Buff Hardman, acquisitions agent of Super Dark Reclamation, will stop at nothing to acquire Hephaestus Mining's productive corporate enclave for his shadowy shipping concern. When Excelsior interferes with Hardman's plans to mind control the Sprat Pack, Hardman turns his dastardly mind control ray on Excelsior. Will our mustachioed hero free his mind from Hartman's power with his newly healed heart intact? Ooh. I guess it's like a, literally reading the back of the heckin' comic book right there. A tree in time right there randomly. Energy cell there. And, uh... Oh, no, no real notes on this research center here. Or anything. Another Adrian time there. A data pad. That's probably going to give us some information. Some ammo. Another Adrian time right there. Energy cells. Some, uh... Weapon parts. Weapon parts. Ammo parts. Armor parts, I meant. Pfft. Basically the same thing, right? And like, it's just more stuff that I'm not going to use. But either way, let's see what this data pad has to say. Virgil Sharp's data pad. Birdie. Law darn it, Birdie. What I tell you about pestering Morris, he's not interested. If you scare him off the project, you're gone. I don't care if you're my kid's sister. We need his research. We don't need you. Got it? Good. I took a look at the preliminary schedule you sent over. You got all the tasks tracked, but the timing is off. For one thing, you have me finishing the metal casings fabrication after the package is supposed to be complete. Find me at my workstation in the mines near OCI when you get off shift. I'll go over the rest of my criticisms in person. By the marvelous mustache and Excelsior, Gil. P.S. How long do we have to keep saying that? It's ridiculous. <laughs> Seems like there's some sort of meme going on around here about the uh, the comic book. Or they're like role playing, I guess, huh? Either way, we have this area cleared here. We also have some ammo and adrenos and blah, 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 blah over here. Guess I'll grab those. Just because might as well pick up more stuff, right? Pfft. Another data. Oh, no, wait, no, that's an armor parts right there. I thought we had another data pad randomly. And uh, weird blurry textures there. And is there anything else on this side? Nope. I do hear sprats, though. I'm like, there's supposed to be sprats all over the place. They have a literal. Like, bar area called the Sprat Shack. So, of course, there should be Sprats around here. Got like 100 bits right there. Not too bad. And uh, a bunch of drinks. Oh, yeah. There's a Sprat right there. Oh, not anymore. It's dead. And it's getting... I can, like, turn into... Oh, man. This pile of dust is, like, twice the size of Sprat. What? <laughs> I think I, uh, I drew in time to myself. Or, uh, enraged myself a little bit right there. Whoops. I think... I don't know if, I don't know if that's actually a thing you do, but I think that's what happened right there. Try to a human... In, yeah, we don't need to do that. But we're technically outside right now, which is good. But I do want to see where this actually leads, because I'm kind of kind of curious where this actually is. Is this where I think it is? No, but I do know where it actually is. Okay, so yeah, the, we, we came over this bridge from... What was it called again? Ah, I forgot the actual name of the area. Oregon Ruins? No, that's not, that's not what we actually learned. It was like some... Uh, Alpha Tower... Yeah, Economy Flats, that's what it was called, yeah. So we, we came from Economy Flats across this bridge, then we went straight to HIA right there. And yeah, I didn't. I, I, I guess we might have seen this cave right here, but I went straight for the tents and I didn't even realize what in the world. I didn't even know there was a Space of Choice flag right there, huh? Interesting. I think we already, yeah, we already looted that cash register, obviously, right? But yeah, if we keep going this way, here's the uh, HIA facility's actual entrance. And this is like the back entrance here, so that's kind of interesting. I wonder if we're actually able to go into there if we went through the back entrance. I doubt it. We, we probably still need some sort of authentication to get into there, but whatever. 